In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a, um, a web page be a favorite or a bookmark. So I'm first going to show you in Safari, and then we're going to go to our other web browser, which is Puffin, which is a little bit different. Um, we also have Chrome, but on this iPad, I'm going to just show you the two here. So in Safari, Safari is an app that comes with your iPad and can't be removed. Um, so here I already have a web page open and so if I want to make Google a favorite, um, we have different tabs up here. We have your back arrow and your forward arrow. Um, we also have our sharing tool to where if we click on that we can email this URL or <coughs> um, also, there's other things that we can do with it, and if I click on that, it gives us a list of different things to where we can share, um, but we can also bookmark it, we can add to a reading list, we can add to the home screen, we can copy or we can print. And for here, we are going to add to the home screen. So if I click on that one, um, the new we can change what it says there and I'm just going to put in Google here and if I just click add I just put Google as a web page on my desktop so instead of going into Safari and having to find Google or type it in all I would really have to do is click on Google and it would come right up so if I go back to Safari and here I have Google if I do the sharing key again. If I bookmark this, um, we can put here again. Not sure why it keeps calling it a new tab, but click done. And it should be in our home favorites right here. So when we have a blank screen with Safari, um, it would show your um, shortcut or your favorite right there as well. Now going into Puffin, Puffin is a little bit more difficult, so we'll go ahead and click into the Puffin browser, and here our web pages are at the bottom instead of being at the top like most other web browsers. And here we have already a few different sites that are listed as our favorites, and has different devices. This is your bookmarks and then your most visited sites. So if we continuously go to one site, it would start listing them here for you automatically. But even if I X out of this one, it still brings this is your home page. Um, so over here we have a plus button. So if we click on plus, it brings up another web page for us. And this tells us how many um, different pages we have open and these three little dots if I click on them there a whole list of different things come up um, we have our bookmarks we have downloads upgrade find a page or history a mail link print settings help and some other things geared with the Puffin browser the one thing with the Puffin browser is that it has an embedded Java <clears throat> Flash Player. And so with some of our sites that we use, we need to have Flash Player, like for IXL or Mimeo Head Sprouts. Um, that's mainly what we use it for. And so here I have my bookmarks, and I want to, if we click on bookmarks right here, we would be able to add your bookmark. You can export them to another web browser. And then we have our list of different bookmarks already listed. But if I click here for edit, see how the red tabs come up? If I click on that red tab, I can delete that. Being in our school, we really don't want them going on a lot of these different sites without guided access. So I'm just going to delete them all. And then I'll click done. And then if I go back over here, all of my bookmarks are now gone. There and I closed out my other web pages. So if I want to go somewhere, I'm just going to do IXL because we don't really need to 
have a login to go to IXL and it did my autocorrect for me, which I didn't want. There we are, IXL. This is a math help to where kids can um, go for different grade levels and different different types of math as well as you get higher more into the high school and here we can use this for our login or we can search topic or skills within IXL and for here I'm just going to um, go into um, say kindergarten click on the tab and this is where it'll show me all the different um, things that we can do within kindergarten and numbers and counting up to three numbers and counting up to five and so I want to save this as one of my pages mind you we did not log in but you can do that with your students and showing them how to do their login for each student individually. So if I click the three little dots in the top corner, and if I click on bookmarks, I'm going to add this bookmark. And here, I don't want to put all of that information in there, because even for kindergarten, that's a lot of stuff for them to remember how to uh, how to read it or and so if I click done it didn't want to do anything so we'll click save and so if I click out of this one web page here it shows my bookmark of IXL and that is how you do a bookmark within Puffin